I'm going to go over the W thoracic twist. You're going to need a light exercise bar or a piece of PVC that is as long as your trunk or more will work just fine. We're going to take our bar or PVC and we're going to load it onto our back evenly. We call it W stretch because the arms are in the shape of a W. I want you to grab your bar uh, at about a 45 degree angle from the elbow. So you're making that nice wide W shape. You're going to get in either your golf setup, like you're addressing the ball, or you can go slightly wider into a more athletic stance closer to the shoulders, whichever position works better for you and your activities. As always, where we go through rotation, we maintain cues starting at the feet, which are the feet are rooted. The knees are soft. We don't ever lock the knees because that's going to shut off the hips and all of the power in rotary movements should come from the hips. Soft knees, we get into our slight hinge position as if you're addressing the golf ball to the point where we push through the back pockets just enough that we feel tension in the hamstrings and we feel engagement in the glutes. The head is in a nice, straight, neutral, comfortable position. I'm in my W stretch. Maintaining this posture through the whole pattern, always key to any rotary movement exercises, always key to stability exercises. We're going to simply rotate to one side, maintaining the posture. And what's great about the W stretch is for my people who have C posture, rounded shoulders, upper cross syndrome, etc. You get a nice stretch in that upper chest pec minor muscle that gets really tight. And so the goal is we're going to take the back end of our bar and we're going to try to point it to the floor straight out in front of us. If not a little further, if you have the range of motion, notice as I rotate, I'm keeping my hips in the box. I'm not swaying or leaning. I'm not sliding. I'm staying in my hinge. I am using my hips and spine as an axis and I'm moving as I stay in the box. Breathing freely, rotating a little more as you go through them. That is how you perform the W thoracic twist.